Hey guys, how are you? Today I'm doing Jordan Baker. So who is she? She's a golfing celebrity said to have cheated in major tournaments. There's something about cheating in this novel that is literally out there for us to discuss the entire time, as all husbands cheat on their significant other, except one, which is Mr. Wilson. Now, Daisy's bridesmaid, a close friend of Nick, uh, basically, this is who she is. She has doesn't have a really major role in the novel, uh, but she has a lot of associations with, like for instance, Nick or Daisy, and you're about to see that now. So, she is a couple of years younger than Daisy, and they grew up together in Louisville, Kentucky. And when Daisy married Tom Buchanan, Jordan acted as her bridesmaid. Now, on the East Coast, Jordan lives with her aunt. Jordan is a slender, suntanned young woman with grey eyes and an upright posture. Um, her hair is said to be the color of an autumn leaf. Now, do you realize how in this uh, novel we associate women with a lot of nature, Daisy with a flower and now, and her voice, and, and now with, with uh, now uh, we have Jordan with, uh, have the hair of the color of an autumn leaf and all that. Maybe this has something to do with like deeper symbolism. And Nick sums her up as this clean, hard, limited person who dealt in a universal or in-universal skepticism. He tells us that she has a bored, haughty face and a scornful mouth. Such description presents Jordan in a negative light, especially as she is only in her early 20s. But Nick is attracted to her nonetheless, and there are clear indications that they have been intimately involved more than he tells us as our reliable, trusted narrator. Now, why should Jordan, who is clearly attractive, young and talented, be so cynical, bored and scornful? And Nick tells us a certain amount about her. But there seems to be much more to her story. Why is she leaving with her aunt? Like, these are questions that you can ask yourselves. What actually happened in the golf tournament where she was accused of cheating? Nick fills in details of Gatsby's background, but think carefully about how much he lets us know about the other character in this novel. Does he tell us enough? Not really. Are we led to suspect that Nick knows more about Jordan that he shares with us, for instance? Um, sport and fair play? When Nick witnesses Jordan telling a lie, he recalls a rumor that um, she has cheated in a golf tournament. Note how, note how Nick, who prides himself on his ability to reserve judgment, makes this shocking declaration and contradicts completely what he stands for about not making judgments. And he says she was in incurably dishonest. Is Nick being fair now to Jordan here, or is there something going on? Is he being biased because he likes her, or because something went wrong, or what is really happening at the moment? Now, uh, Jordan tells Nick, I thought you were rather an honest, straightforward person. I thought it was your secret pride. There are several hints in this novel that the relationship between Nick and Jordan is closer and more complicated than he is prepared to admit. Jordan is generally characterized as coldly resilient and even cynical, but in this conversation she shows herself to be emotionally vulnerable, to value honesty and to have formed a genuine attachment to Nick. Now the issue of Nick's straightforwardness is of course of vital importance to us as readers of his narrative. Um, Basically, in 19, this is like something in terms of key context, in the 1920s was a decade when young women often referred to as flappers exercise in or unprecedented freedoms. This is very important. They had uh, their hair cut short, wore relatively short skirts and used cosmetics to make themselves more attractive. Um, what else I could tell you about her? Basically, she's a very minor character yet plays some important role for when it comes to Nick. Um, and Daisy for quite a bit at the beginning. Anyways, if you have any questions about her, uh, any further questions or clarifications, please let me know or drop them down in the comments below. Thank you very much and have a good day.